juice. By the way, did you ever know that Jerry Maguire, when the kid gives Jerry Maguire the finger, that was uh, that was Drake Bell, and he was uncomfortable using the middle fingers, which is ring finger. Oh wow! Oh. A little tidbit, a little kid. Wow, well, like, coincidence! He had middle fingers up his butt. Okay, come on. Yes, <laughs> I feel bad for allegedly. that guy. I do feel no, bad. No, not for allegedly. That guy. The allegedly. guy went to. Yeah, he did. He went producer to producer Brian Peck. There's a series, The Dark Side of uh, Children's TV, right now out there. Jeez. And, gosh, I mean that's the kind of thing that would mess you up for life. And uh, imagine, yeah. I I just can't imagine having my son. If you don't Gary Plowsham, I mean. <laughs> yep. Man, Gary Plowsh, American hero. Yep. And yeah. Brian Peck went back to produce more content. For Nickelodeon and Disney. You'd think, hold on a second, you rape a child, you never see the light of day again. And instead, he goes back and he's around kids. Wow. Is he related to Josh Peck? No. No. I know. Oh, I thought good. so, too. Because I saw Drake tweet it out. He goes, he goes, hey, you guys are giving Josh a lot of shit because he's not talking about this. Yeah. And he's being quiet about it. But he calls me all the time. Yeah. And we're still good friends. And he takes care of me. Take it easy on him. Well, it's, people have to be careful, too, because then you may show up and you're still on set with a guy like this. Oh, sure. Think about that. Sure. I mean, that the whole Dan Schneider thing, too. I mean, that guy was on every set. The, 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 the series talks about Dan Schneider. He wasn't uh, a child molester or anything. But they also tried... Yeah, that, sure he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh, who's he Jamie wasn't. Lynn Spears' dad? We don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. But but that being said, <laughs> Brian Peck was an absolute uh, an absolute criminal. Now, when you watch this thing, the HBO series, the problem is rather than just focusing on the child rape, they go, and Dan Schneider hired me white male writers where there was only one female. And then they say, and Dan Schneider responded saying, I never once took gender into account when hiring people. It's like, well, okay, that may be true. This has nothing. Who How about you focus on the child molestation? Yeah, that's the yeah. biggest thing we're here for. Yeah. Now, I get it that sometimes people are looking for something dirty. You know what I mean? And they go, well, this is this is offensive. Uh, that being said, tell me when you, and if you have children, of course, they shouldn't be watching this. This is Ariana Grande. Um, I've seen this. When you watch this, tell me how you could view this as anything other than a sexual context. It's very clear what they had in mind. Have you ever said something like a sentence and thought to yourself, wow, like I bet nobody else on earth has ever said those exact words that I just said. That happens to me a lot. So now, just for fun, I'm gonna say three sentences that I bet not one person has ever said before in the history of mankind. Sentence number one. Oh man, my uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. See? What? That could never happen because your I uvula it was be is the that potato thing, thing in the back of your throat right here. Oh, there's someone else. So there's no way you could get it stuck between yeah. a hamster's toes. Sentence number three. <laughs> I'm soaking wet! Quick! Somebody bring me the ocean! No one would ever say that. Can you fast forward to the potato part? Because if you are so There's gotta be the part where she's she's doing the potato, trying to get the juice out of a potato, and then she's pouring water all over herself. Um, yeah, that's that's someone who puts it together. And what they do here's the problem is they will snatch uh, defeat from the jaws of victory by not picking the right clip, people out there. Where it's like there is stuff that is hypersexualized. And then if you go end all of this, and people just say, Well, you're dirty if you're viewing it that way. The stuff that she does with a potato. Uh, there was someone with Jamie Lynn Spears and like this. Anyway, there's man. There's Amanda Bynes videos too. There's like one with Dan Schneider in a hot tub with her. Yeah, yep. he was yeah. fully clothed. So. Here, here they, well, yeah, is this the potato? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the potato. Check this out. It's right after this. Sometimes I wonder if you can get juice from a potato. <laughs> Is it possible for a teenage girl to drink water upside down? Mmm, I'm thirsty! Wow. I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, I hate yep. this. No, I hate it. It's not possible! Uh, let's, people need to know if they're going to send their children into this industry. True. This has been me, in a video! Uh. Come on! Give up the juice! It's like Gerald acting. <laughs> Can you... Wow. Yeah. And that's, you have people like the Brian Pecks of the world. And this is the funny thing where the Me Too and they go, oh, it's a culture of rape and sexual assault. The, here's the irony. They're right. Yeah. Only in their communities. Mm -hmm. Only in the community that is Hollywood. You think that would pass in suburban Oklahoma? You'd have your ass beaten before the sun goes down. So they're right. They're right. There was a culture of rape. Why? Well, because of all the complicit feminists. Not one person came out with the Weinstein scandal and said, yeah, I've got three Oscars. I did it. No. Hey, why are they all silent? Why did Meryl Streep come out and thank Harvey Weinstein slash God? 
But you're going to come out and say that, oh, middle America, Donald Trump is a rapist because he allegedly slept or paid a porn star? Let's, let's take it to, a, to its worst scenario. All right? Paid a porn star to have sex and has a small penis. Let's say that all of that is true, which she admitted was not true, that they didn't actually have sex, right, according to Stormy Daniels. But he, is that the same as your community of constant rape and child sexualization? And so many conservatives forget about it, like cuties. How many of you still have Netflix memberships? All right, it's going to continue. You have to vote with your dollar at a certain point. Watch Ladder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.